So why is FDM the 3D printing process that we decided to use in our print farms? So FDM is the best production 3D printing process. Number one, its materials are super cheap. Number two, it's very scalable. So you can go from one to one million parts really easily and affordably. And two, you can have a finished part come off the machine and be done. So materials, FDM is based off of injection molding materials. The very first material used in FDM was ABS, which is the most common injection molding material out there. So FDM already has an existing supply chain of materials out there. The only thing that has to be done is you have to run them through a tube to make a filament and that's all you have to do. So you have a very good materials base that is very cost effective because there's already gajillions of tons of plastic out there that can be used. And it's all the same plastics that are used in injection molding. FDM is also very scalable. If you are using FDM parts, if you have designed the part well, even though one machine may take an hour to print a part, it's very easy to deploy 1,000 FDM 3D printers so that you can produce 1,000 parts per hour. And this is the fundamental premise of what we've done at Slant 3D, which is to scale up FDM by just parallelizing it so that you can produce thousands of pieces without much upfront cost. You just hit go, all the machines fire up, and you have 1,000 parts an hour later, which is very, very fast. Now, FDM also is able to produce final parts. Any other 3D printing process, whether it be resin or powder or anything else, has to go through a post-processing uh, phase. And even though a large part of that can be automated to a certain degree, FDM is a shelf. And on that shelf, a part appears. And that if that part is appropriately designed, it can come off that shelf and go right into a box. And that is magic, because you can stick these into warehouses, you can do very fast distribution, in a way that no other 3D printing process can. Having a thousand resin 3D machines inside of an Amazon warehouse just doesn't work because you'd have a washing bay and you'd have resin leaking everywhere and you have this mess that goes along with it, which again can be automated, but you have to build a factory around the machines. Whereas FDM, you literally just have to put the machines on the shelf and then the machines become the shelf. Final part comes off, goes in a box, done. So that's why FDM is the, the choice that we decided to use for all of our 3D printing facilities because it's very cost effective because the materials are there. It's very scalable because it's easy to deploy a thousand machines and consistently get good quality parts. And you don't have any ancillary processes so you can actually have a finished final consumer product come off the machine and be done. Let us know what other kind of things you wanna know about 3D printing down there in the comments and we'll try to get to them as soon as we can. Thanks, everybody.